Hi guys, can you hear me? I just want to make sure that I'm not uh, echoey or fuzzy. We had some issues before. Hi Abby, welcome. Hi Sherry. Holly, hello. Janine, hi. Yes, sound good? <laughs> Hi Mary, welcome. Hi Barbara. Wonderful, wonderful to see you here today. So um, here we are. I got some books that I just want to go through today and uh, I want to do a little project today so uh, hopefully we have some fun with that. Hi Caroline, welcome. Hi Susie, welcome. Hi guys, welcome. <coughs> Hi Meredith, <coughs> welcome. Who's had a really big week this week? Who has weeks where you just feel blah? That's the only word for it. Hi Tony, welcome. Um, I'm having one of those days, you know, hi Zealy, welcome, woke up feeling like, oh, I'm really unmotivated today, what's wrong with me? Um, what do you guys do when you're unmotivated? Me, <laughs> she was like, me. Ah, oh, cool, Janine. Thank you. Lovely. You take a nap, Holly. Well, that's a good idea, but I can't take a nap if I've just woken up. <laughs> Helen, hello. Welcome. Blah days usually involve ice cream, Zealy says. <laughs> ice cream sounds good, but it's winter here, so ice cream's no good either. And obviously, I've just eaten my breakfast, so I'm not going to eat ice cream. Mary hey, Yeah, it does. Big time. And you know what? I always find in winter that I get a lot more down. And I think that's, it's kind of, it's called the winter blues. Um, and I think part of the reason is that, that we don't get as much sunlight in the winter so we're not getting as much vitamin D which really helps us to function properly hi Kimberly welcome hi Rochelle welcome so um yeah just one thing that I feel um, a lot of people don't talk about in the community is when you're feeling down and you can't I don't know f process or function <laughs> and um, coloring sometimes is the last thing that you want to do uh, but today I want to talk about that and I want to encourage you to push forward past that because it can enable people not to do it. Like it can really put you in a downward spiral and it can stop you from doing all these beautiful images and just expressing yourself creatively um, as well as getting rid of some of that negative emotional baggage that occurs. You eat chocolate? <laughs> Hi Chloe, welcome. A few newbies here today that I haven't seen. Unless you've been here and I've just missed you. <laughs> so um so yeah, I just thought I'd talk about what I do because it does happen. <laughs> Believe it or not. Um where I wake up in the morning and I just go, oh, I don't know what to do. I'm uninspired today. Nothing sort of, you know, grabbing me. Hi Nelly, welcome. So um, yeah, today I've decided that, that I will show you my uh, creative process when I'm not feeling creative, what I do. <laughs> no sunshine, yeah. Yeah. Well, 
we've got still a few just jumping in so we'll just wait a couple of minutes but today we're going to do a few flip through so I've got the two I've already got the actually I'll just grab it so I have it here as well just from my pile of books on my bookshelf. I ordered this one a while ago and we did a page in this one. I did that beautiful uh, Karen marker one. And um, I decided to order this one and then she brought this one out again. Um, so in a different language, but it, it, I think it's, it, uh, it <clears throat> translate to still the seas or something like that, or daughters of the sea, I don't know, something like that. And um, the fairy tale princess one. So um, these two arrived. Uh, actually, this one arrived quite a while ago. I've had it probably for about three weeks, and I was waiting for this one so that I could show them together, but had to wait so long. Oh no, Helen, you did. Hi, Loretta. Welcome. Hi, Nelly. Or did I say hi? I'm saying it again. <laughs> um, who else just popped in? Maya. Hi, sweetie. Did you get your baby? Oh, you did, Loretta? Was that from, um, was that, where is that from? Was it from Dee Dee's stream? I know Dee Dee did it the other night. She did a giveaway. Hi, Lulu. Welcome from Dee Dee. Awesome, Loretta. Congratulations. So, um. Yeah, so today's topic is feeling down and what to do. <laughs> um, Helen, I'm so sorry you had a bad day. I hate bad days. Bad days are usually spurred on with pain for me. Um, when I'm struggling, I'm the type of person that bottles a lot of thing up, things up and um, I don't kind of let it out. And when I'm in pain, that pain tends to be bottled up and there are just days where I just cannot bottle it anymore. And it just spills over the edges and um, yeah, it brings about those really low days. Agent Maya. <laughs> oh, well done, Loretta. Love things like that. Made your day, yeah? All right, I'm going to go through some links with you in a minute, um, Holly. So make sure you're watching because I'll pop the links in the description. There's a few here that I've got today. All right, so... We'll just give it a couple more minutes or a minute or so before I start flipping through them. But this is the three books from Mystic Art Mirrors um, Etsy store. Christina or Kristen Glorious Inc. is her name. So I'll do her first because I have that. This is the whole website. She also has, uh, let me just grab them out. <coughs> Having a cough here. She also has uh, prints that you can purchase and she also has these little uh, postcards, which I've got quite a few in the set now. They're very, very pretty. And usually she sends a couple out with the books. Mine came, I've got two different envelopes. One looked like this and one looked like this with a thank you on the back. They're very cute. I've just got them sitting aside on my desk here and I've got a couple of doubles of these so I've just, I'll collect them. <laughs> that one's in there. And she always sends a couple of her business cards as well when she sends them out. It is free postage worldwide for the books. Um, well, it was when I went on the Australian website, so I'm pretty certain it should be the same elsewhere. You're back? <laughs> Where did you go? Hi, Shara, welcome. Hi, Erin, welcome. Hi, Linda. Oh, 
I'll keep my uh, hello still lost sound or is it just you Oh, okay, cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was having a stress. Barbara, I have the same thing. <laughs> um, along with osteoarthritis, it's not good. <laughs> it is extremely hard to function. <laughs> hi Heather welcome hi Kenny welcome she will Maya what did you name her or him she you said she what did you name her hi Amanda welcome <laughs> no worries Erin oh Caroline I um I found I had a hysterectomy when I was about thirty four, and uh, I found after that the fibro got so much worse. You still haven't got a name, oh princess. Just call her princess. <laughs> so anyway, so today we're talking about down days and how to get yourself motivated. So one place that I like to go to get motivated is here, to the community. <laughs> um. We have some absolutely beautiful streamers in our community and um, they're all really encouraging and most streams are fun and exciting. There's people around that, you know, you can chat with and you can... <laughs> oh. Yeah, Shara, they say that um, uh, major trauma to the body can kick it off. I'm so I could understand that. <clears throat> Hi, Bobby. Welcome and and <laughs> welcome to the craziness. Um. Oh, Heather, it is. It is. And um, yeah. So today's not about um the negative. Today's about finding the positive in it all. So um, the community here is one. Well. <laughs> this is one place I like to go. <laughs> Hi, Mousy Deb. How are you? Let's see my pretties. <laughs> so I just posted up the Mystic Mirrors uh, link, but I'm just going to do it again because... Uh, there's been a lot of chatter and uh, we miss it. Hi, Michelle. Welcome. So, um, yeah, I've got a few books. So let's go through them. So as I said, had this one first. Got this one ages ago and then wanted to do this one as well. So these are from Mystic Art Mirrors. Is it Kristen or Christine? Let me read the back of it here. Oh, it doesn't actually say. Well, that would have been helpful. Kristen. Glorious Ink. No, it, that's not her surname, obviously, but pen name, illustration name. <laughs> that's like my surname on, on Facebook is Colour with Faithful Girl. <laughs> so uh, I've seen a lot of uh, people already go through this, so I'll just flip through it quite quickly. Dee uh, Dee did it the other night and um, <laughs> she was trying to guess the characters and it was quite funny. I quite enjoyed it uh, watching her tell us what characters they were. <laughs> it was very funny. <laughs> it is. So the second thing I do, so first thing is going to the community, watching some awesome streamers, having a chat with some of us awesome buddies. Hi Deb, welcome. And um, the second thing I do is I usually like to get out my favorite artist and just peruse through books 
um, quite often colouring something from my favourite artist will pick me up and just help me give me that little bit of motivation to uh, move on. And I'm having trouble with the light here. It doesn't want to stay nice. Okay, so this one is Rapunzel. <laughs> Nerida. I'm just guessing now. Some of them I don't know. Ariel. The lovely Belle. Hi, Becky and Steve. Welcome. Also, Erin is here somewhere. She was going to be watching telly, so she said that she'll be <laughs> she'll be just in stalker mode. Um, um, Snow White <laughs> had a moment then. Queen of I'm going to say hearts. She's got a heart on her thing there. Erin, <laughs> no, it's all good. I'm. It's just this morning. I've just woken up feeling a bit. Yeah. What do I do today? Cinderella. Now this one I'm not sure of. It could still be the Queen of Hearts. Could I be right? Ah, that's annoying. <laughs> yeah sherry i think it's the weather it just got so cold um this one looks a little bit like the mad hatter oh maya puppy puppy oh no worries linda hi pat welcome and we have Alice. <laughs> oh, my day's already better because I got to be with you guys. So, hi, Sue. Welcome. Hmm, is this Snow White as well? I'm thinking it might be. We've still got the mirror and an apple, so I'm thinking that's a Snow White. I'm thinking this one's a related to an Alice. It's very cute, that one. Another Mad Hatter or Alice at the tea party, perhaps? I think it's a Mad Hatter because the hat's there. Tinkerbell. How am I doing so far? does sound like it, Loretta. Yes, they are awesome. I'm actually going to do a few more with um, the Karen markers, I think. I really loved how my other mermaid came out. We have Sleeping Beauty. Briar Rose. Red Riding Hood. <laughs> And Elsa. Ah, oh, Maya, lucky girl. Another Sleeping Beauty. These pages are so thick. Frog Princess. What's her name? Tiana. Tiana. I'm thinking this is another Queen of Hearts. It's a little bit darker. Maybe that's a Once Upon a Time version. <laughs> now I'm thinking, oh, a bear. I don't know if she had a, is it a bear? I don't know, but I'm going to assume it's um, Pocahontas. She's an Indian of some sort, but look at that. Another queen. Yeah, there's lots of queens, so I'm not sure about that one. 
roses. Maybe that's another... You know who's missing from this? Maleficent. Oh, Pat, thank you so much. <laughs> I could probably, maybe I should do a tester at some stage, but yeah, I think, um, I think you could do watercolor in this one. It's quite thick. Um, the great thing about this one is that it's single sided too. Uh, that's the one thing that was a little frustrating with the first two is that they were double sided. So, um, this is awesome. Doing it single sided is just brilliant. Thank you so much, Pat. You're awesome. Yeah. Hi, Phoenix. Welcome. Lurker, lurker, lurk away. I don't know who this one is. I'm really not sure. I'm just sitting here looking at it. I can't see anything. It could be there's a rose and a butterfly. I'm not sure. anyone knows that one Moana another little mermaid Muriel another queen this one's got a mouse so maybe it's the evil stepmother <laughs> I don't know Well, Cinderella had mice helping her, and hmm, I don't know. Could be anyone. <laughs> Looks like Jasmine. Jasmine, Jasmine, Jasmine Princess Jasmine from, I'm at a mind blank right now. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Anyhow, that was that one. Fairy tale princesses book. I'm going to post up the link again. Oh, Jasmine, yeah, maybe. Could be right there. Aladdin, of course. Actually, I want to go see that. That's out now, isn't it? I love um, that kind of thing. All right, so this is the, I think this was the very first one that she brought out. So still the C's. And this one's not single-sided. Oh, she has signed them all too. Now, this one had a little bit of a blooper in it. Apparently, they came back from the printers like that. Gosh, that blue is really bad. I've even turned it off and it's still doing it. Um. <laughs> Where's Becky? Did she come in? Did I miss you, Becky? Oh, they are pretty, Pat. I've got to win the lottery. <laughs> Hi, Becky. I still don't see where you first came in. That's weird. Anyway, I see you now. Loretta, um, you might have to join in the heist, I think. <laughs> Hi, Beth. Welcome. So in the book, uh, the first one I did show you, there was a little section at the back of it, this bit, that actually is from this book. So there's a few of these images already in here. And I'm pretty sure that was one of them. But they're all very beautiful. This is the one I did um, from the other book on the watercolour one. 
that came up awesome. Let me see if I can find it. And show you. Got a bit big then, didn't it? Just took up the whole page. Just get a little bit smaller. There she is. She came up all right. <laughs> I was using the Karen Mac markers for the first time. They're pretty. Anyhow, let's go back. Ooh, dinner. Yum. Sounds good. Ooh, meatloaf cupcakes. Are they really cakes if they're made of meat? <laughs> Deb. This one's cool. I like this one. This one's the same thickness as the others. It's just that it's double-sided. How cute! I haven't had a really good look at this one because I kind of just recently got it. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. <laughs> Not yet. It's not June yet. What? <laughs> not till... <laughs> now this is the one that printed wrong. So there's a print error there. Um, so after contacting her... Uh, she did send me a digital version of the image so there's no split in the middle uh, it's just a full page of the image so if you did get it and it's got a misprint if you email her um, at her email address that's on her Etsy page then she'll send out the digital version of it which is kind of cool because I could do that whole page as watercolor then Ooh, Heather. <laughs> Happy birthday coming up. Ooh, I sound interesting. Now, also in her Etsy store, she's got a couple of digital sets of some images. So some from this book, some from the other, Mer the other Mermaid and Friends one, and also some from the Disney one. So there's a couple of different packs that you can buy as digital. So if you don't want to do, or if you want to use markers or something and you don't want it to go through, uh, there may be a version of it digitally. So go check that out as well. 50 years young, awesome. Um, I'll pop it up again because it does fly past when people are chatting and I love that. And uh, I've also put it in the description. So later on, if you want to come back, it's in the description below as well. There's another Ariel. This one's beautiful. I love her hair. Oh, look, who am I kidding? I love them all. We can make these look amazing. Hi Dawn, welcome. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this little ducky. It's so cute. She's having a bath with a real ducky instead of a rubber ducky. This one's in the other book. I'm pretty sure this one is too, actually. It's it's a mermaid Maleficent. <laughs> Oh, nice, Pat. You don't sound 50. <laughs> I 
and that's the last one. There is some very pretty ones in there. Very, very nice. So that's that's that down. I've got this one. Uh, this one also Dee Dee was playing around with the other night. And um, I've started my own watercolour one. It's getting there. Um, so I'm doing a full video for patrons. Um, that's with Neo Colours only so far. Ah, hello. <laughs> it's such a beautiful book. To be honest, I think I still like Mysteria the best out of them. Not that this isn't beautiful, but you know how you have a favourite? Well, I think Mysteria is still my favourite. Excuse me. So this one is available from her website. Also, too, while you're on her website, it is in some of it is in a different language. So um, if you do it on a desktop, it translates for you any of the wording that's not English. But that's the website there. This is Anastasia Ellie Anastasia Anastasia Ellie Kildeva Nocturnes. Anastasia Ellie Kaldeva, but we'll just call her Anastasia. <laughs> Something about this one that you like better? I like the fact that these are all nighttime ones, I think that's kind of cool. yeah but um she also has on her website i was going to say uh freebie images so there are a couple of images that you can download for free on there this one's pretty um may and i were talking about maybe she has some pictures of some wolves from a friend and i thought maybe we could do some wolves eyes that would look cool this is the magnolia one that i'm doing now hi bethann This is the one that Dee Dee did the other night, or last night, whenever it was. <laughs> oh, now, Linda, I have to warn you. I'll try to warn you before it. I'll have a look, but there is a creepy crawly one in here. So I'll tell you when to turn around and, um, and then when you can turn back. <laughs> Just to let you know. Uh, I did post it up. Did you not see it? I'll post it again. Here it is. Ready, ready. Catch it before it runs away. Yeah, I'll tell you when. Maybe if you're going to get it, you should get it sent here and I can take it out for you before you get it. Let's <laughs> see. You would love it. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome. Hi, Elaine. I missed you before. Welcome, sweetie. So busy. I keep checking to see if it's this one. Hi, Sherry. Welcome. <laughs> She's quite pretty. I like her face. She reminds me of someone. I can't quite pick it. <laughs> There's an Alice. It's kind of cool. Not yet. <laughs> you're not old you're only as old as you feel or is it how you act you're as old as you act because sometimes I feel really old <laughs> Elaine that's so wonderful oh wait okay sorry um Linda you need to turn away 
like okay turn away Linda I'll give it a couple of seconds to catch up the creepy crawly coming on the next page just be weary okay I left it a couple of seconds so um, I'm gonna turn the page Okay, it's gone, Linda. <laughs> That's the only creepy cr crawly. It is kind of cool. I quite like it, but I probably won't colour that one. <laughs> I love these owls. They're beautiful. Get some cherry blossoms. Got a bit of a bent corner here, and every time I turn the page, I'm just trying to flatten it slightly. Oh, Dawn, you said that. <laughs> I missed what you said, Dawn. Oh, yeah, no, it's all right. It's, it's news that I do know. <laughs> What's built in enablers? <laughs> Oh, I was telling a couple of you the other night in DDC that I ordered some, it was Becky, yeah, I ordered some, I was on a buy, swap and sell website and this guy was um, apparently selling up some sort of art shop and uh, he advertised a set of schminka or schminky, however you say it, watercolours, so that's the brand and um they were quite expensive because obviously the brand is expensive and I think it's a 24 tin let me just look maybe it's a 30 tin I don't know but um, I saw it and was like oh that's so awesome and I love I already have a couple of the tube watercolors for that brand um, so yeah, I decided to buy it and uh, the guy was from close to here actually. I think he was in Clayton or something like that. Um, and he sent it out and I opened the box and only, and, and I was like, they look like my Cotman set. So I'll just show you, they're a bit dirty because I've been using them. I'm like, they look like my Cotman watercolours. So I'm looking at them, a couple of the pans have got writing on them. But this is called Windsor Violet Violet Blue. Or Windsor Violet. Windsor Dioxine. Oh, anyway. I'm like, that's a Cotman brand. That's a Cotman one. <laughs> anyway, so a couple of them have the actual Windsor and Newton symbol on the bottom. So I'm assuming they're just Windsor and Newton brand. And then only four of them. So out of the set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them were actual Windsor and Newton. The rest were all Cotman. And these red and greens, which are the only four colours that were Schminka or Schminky. So it was totally ripped off. Totally peeved and upset because I love the paints. And I already have a whole heap of Windsor and Newton. And I've got the whole Cotman set. So I was a bit upset. <laughs> the guy gave me some money back but I still felt cheated because he thought they were all the same brand but I was like seriously <laughs> um, but I wasted quite a bit of money so just be weary of buy swap and sells um, uh, lots of scammers Anyway, I tried to buy something else off him and uh, he wouldn't answer my text messages after that because I asked for money back on my paints, but so I should. Well, he missed out. I would have brought the other. He was selling actual tubes of the same brand and I was going to get them, but it's his loss. 
<laughs> He's lost. Oh, Loretta, I did find that you can get a couple of them on Amazon Australia. But most of them, I think, are on Amazon UK. But, yeah, I couldn't get it. There are, Pat, and um, I'm bummed because I really love them. <laughs> you know how you get really excited about something and then, yeah, it's just wrong. Wrong. You'll have to wait now because it's winter and hubby doesn't have as much work in winter. So uh, there's not as much money to uh, push around. <laughs> And that's it so these pages feel the same as uh, the previous Mysteria book and Dee Dee used acrylic paint watercolor and pencils in it and it was perfect so all right that's that one okay the next one I have is a digital one from Shintaka Harris of Vivid Publishing so I'm gonna pop that on there is some music, guys, so, um, yeah, enjoy.
All right, so that was it. <laughs> Renaissance. Renaissance. I will uh, do a speed colouring and a proper flip through of that too uh, later on in the next two weeks. So that's from Viva Publishing, that one. So I'll pop the link back up again for that. Um, I just realized I haven't actually put the links in the description yet. I've got them ready to go, but I haven't done it. So um, I will do it as soon as we finish the stream. Um, there possibly is a downloadable one. I don't know. Yes, that's the Amazon link. <laughs> awesome. So um, the other books that I've got over the last few months are number 47, 48 and 49 of the Colouring Heaven Colouring Book Specials. Um, I'm now subscribing so I've been getting them each month. This one actually came really quickly. Um, I was super impressed. This one I didn't get till like maybe two weeks before I got this one. So this one took forever and uh, this one was actually quite quick as well. But I did colour an image, the grayscale version of one of the images in this. This is Christine Karen one. I was really impressed. They're super awesome to have both grayscale and normal. Some of the grayscales I didn't have either, which was awesome. I didn't have that one, but I'm going to colour that one. And then the rest are all line art. Oh no, some of them are grayscale in this one. Oh no, that's a line art. Lots of detailed hair. But to tell you the truth, the amount of money that I paid for this subscription is highly worth it. Now I'll pop the link up for Anthem Publishing because For Australians, I'm going to go to the page, hang on. Uh, where's the enter button? <laughs> okay, for Australians, we're looking at six months is $63 so that's just over $10 a month and if you get the full 12 month subscription it's 126 does that work out right yeah that's right <laughs> it's the same price um, and I think that's brilliant for what you actually get in the books the amount of images, this is all Christine Karen images. So if you liked her images and you haven't had a chance to get any, this is, yeah, that's right, Linda, you can get, they have specials on all the time where you can get, actually even look on the back, two years for the price of one. Um, and there's a code, whoops. <laughs> so, um, yeah. It's a spring code at the moment. So yeah, go on and pop it in and, and you'll get it cheaper. But it's absolutely beautiful, this one. There's a few more grayscale in the middle there. Just stunning. I've done a few of these too. That was Christine Karen. This was the alien special one they had. Some of them are quite cute. I like them. They kind of remind me of Disney characters that have been adapted to Star Wars characters. I don't know, but they're cute. And uh, obviously we know what the steampunk one, the Hannah Ling one was. Some stunning images in that one. I think there was a, a three exclusive images perhaps. Maybe that was one of them. I don't remember. I think there was eight exclusive images maybe. Five. I don't know. Someone else might know. If you do know, chuck it up in the chat there. Don't literally chuck it up. Just put it in, in the chat. Uh, 
Yeah, Helen, not many people did, I don't think. But look, it's worth still get like it's worth still having a go and getting it because you get to see new artists and you might have liked it. So uh, it's worth the money, my feeling on it. Um, and the great thing is that they are only a magazine, so you could pull the pages out and if you wanted to scan it to do, um, you know, marker or whatever on it, um, you can do that. There's plenty of room to move. But, yeah, I really enjoy this magazine. Um, I'll pop the link up again. I'm pretty sure there's an NS one coming out shortly. And... And I know there's some other artists that are coming out soon. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm totally mind blank. There's a few coming out that I know of that are really awesome artists. So definitely worth it. Um, and very exciting when it comes in the mail, when you finally do get it. All right, so that's what. We've gone through um, Colouring Heaven, Nocturnes, Still the Seas, and Fairy Tale Princesses. Today I'm going to play around with, this is my thing that I like to do, something that isn't colouring, paint by numbers, diamond painting, craft ideas, making cards, all those sorts of things. So sometimes when I don't feel like colouring, I'll do something like that. So today I'm feeling blah and um, I think we're going to make one of these. Herb Leonard. I don't, I didn't, I don't think I got that one. Uh, yeah, Ennis is brilliant. You never heard of it, Deb. Um, I don't know if I don't, Elaine tells me I say her last name wrong. I call her Ennis Gerrero, but apparently it's pronounced wrong. Um, but uh, I've done quite a few of her images, um, so I can show you. Let me see if I can find a couple. There's one. I did this beautiful little Alice, not Alice, or Alice, whatever it was, by her. Sorry, the pictures are really good quality, so they always come up quite large on my screen. Do you know who it is now? Linda, you're like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thirty-two. I think I've done five <laughs> big ones, though, not little ones. Big ones. Mushroom trap. You're right. Loretta got it. Uh, what else have I got here? We'll get rid of that one. And what else? Uh, what else have I done? Oh, this one. Do you remember this one? This one was for an event, I think, in her group. Don't forget me. Pretty. What else? Um, click, click, clicking away here. This is what you call the impromptu video chatting because <laughs> not many of this planned. Um, there was, I think the latest one we did, I think I did was Judgment Card, which was a Patreon image, which I really loved doing. This is one of my favorite ones. This was a couple of weeks ago. That one was done with Pablo's, I think that was done with marker base and Pablo's over the top. <laughs> Heather. Um, 
actually she's got a free image in her group at the moment, uh, Peter Pan. Yes, she did. The I've got that one too in the Halloween special. She had a few images in there, which I've also got. I've got a big folder of them. Fantasy Nobu one that you were talking about. Is that Herb Leonard? I don't know. Herb, whatever his name was. Got a few of the books in here. That was one with Micah Jelena. The Momo Girl one. <laughs> got an annual one and we also are oh, this is in the annual one there's a uh, that one's Ennis from the Halloween special which I have got I had a spare copy and we did a giveaway for it on patreon but there was heaps in that one. Oh, there's even some I don't have any of those I told a lie I do have some look misfits I can colour some misfits. <laughs> anyway. Cute. Um, the other one must be in my other folder and I'm not getting it out now, but yes. <laughs> yes, but we're going to do one of these today. So let's pick one. Uh, this book is by uh, Christina Nowak and I have the link. This link goes to this store that sells all her stuff directly and I've done a search so it's a search link and it's all of her products that she's selling. She's currently selling this and the book together at a special price. So um, if you pop over and check that out you'll see the price has been reduced. So let's pick a picture. These are cut and what's it called? Cut and colour. And they make little like shadow boxes, so I wanted to do one. So let's do one. <laughs> um, so we need to pick one. I'll go through the actual pictures that are in here. So that's the first one. Might be easier to go backwards, I think. All right, I'll go forwards. It's like four pages in between each one. My alarm's going off. That's the second one. So one, two. That's the third one. Gosh, they're so thick. Number four. Um, number five, I think there's six in here, maybe there's only five, yeah there's only five and there's a couple of free pages to colour there as well. Okay so there's five, one, two, three, four or five. <laughs> Pick flip a coin, we could do a random number draw, four, that one's four. That's quite pretty too, isn't it? Look at these grapes, they look amazing. That 
was three. <laughs> That's four. I think we've got more for four, so let's do four. So she gives you one to colour, and then there's one to make into a picture. So I'm going to pull those out. It's like a um, a pad of paper, you know, with the sticky gum on the edge, so you can pull them out. And two, and I couldn't find my little. I've got <laughs> somewhere in my house. I have these little um, foam sticky pad things to stick on for cards and things like that and I cannot find them anywhere that's now basically pulled apart it's come off that bit's come off now but that's what it's for y'all now I've got a couple of really old creative memories products that I'm going to use today because um, I like them each image has a thing on the back of where they're supposed to go so this has got Ivy for layer one, the girl on the balcony is for layer three. So that's the ivory and that's the girl on the balcony. This one says a frame is a last layer and that the rose bushes is for layer two. So the frame and then that is separate. And then this is the actual background. So this is the last page then, yeah? So that goes down first coloured and then we place on the girl on the balcony in front of that and then the frame, hang on where's this one go, this is going to get so confusing, layer three, layer two and then that goes over the top of those. So. You know what would be good? The actual image as well. <laughs> Let's grab the image too so we know what we're doing. So the things are in front of it. All right, cool. Let's do some cutting. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. Who's been kicked out? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's do the first layer i'm going to use my little i've got two little cutting machines i used to sell creative memories at one stage um, forever ago another life ago uh, and then they closed so Yeah, frustrating. That's happened, happened to me twice now. I was teaching um, at a beauty therapy college and um, they closed down. I couldn't work anymore because they closed. But Fiskars has a brand of uh, cutter like this in Spotlight in Australia if you're looking for something like this. Okay, so that's a back layer. Now we've got layer number three, which is the girl on the balcony. Do you want me to put the link up for this again, just for those that have already... I'm wondering if I should actually colour it before I go and cut this bit out. Sorry guys, just moving my box forward. Hi Graceland, how are you? Hi Charlotte, welcome. Hello guys, oh welcome back Becky, how was, how was dinner? It doesn't? Really? That's a bit strange.
Let me look. Yes, it does. It's got USA. I've got it. I just looked. It says USA. Mm. It's definitely on there. I'm just looking at it now. I will show you. Let me show you. Maybe. Ah, here we go. Or not. What just happened? <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? There we go. Okay. Let's have a look. So Go down here, let's buy this book here. I got two in my shopping cart now. Continue to shopping. No, continue to cart. Really? <laughs> Give me a break. Here's my cart. Now, just there, look, US. It was on Poland originally, I think, and if you scroll down past there, it's got US and UK. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> I pushed the wrong button. The wrong thing came up. So it's definitely there. Strange. Um, oh, I don't know. I didn't look. Would you like me to look? Um, paste and go. one color and for this one and the Selvig Beauties I don't know it doesn't tell me I don't remember how much I paid either sorry I don't remember. I know that it was really cheap for the cut and color book by itself. <clears throat> oh, this paper is interesting. It's like a card, so I haven't used anything on this before, so it's all new. Who would have thought that E000 was that dark? It bleeds a little bit, so be careful with marker. It's 
very thirsty. I just dropped my scissors. She's got very skinny arms. I'm telling you. <laughs> tiny, tiny arms. Tiny long arms, actually. No worries, sweetie. Bye, Linda. Have a good day. What happened? Who? Oh, no worries, Dawn. Bye, Dawn, as well. Is Dawn going? Ah, uh, yeah, Dawn, we did the same. We had a shipment from... We've got an Australian girl that does the same kind of thing. Um, but I actually ordered it directly from her website. It does ship to the US. Obviously, the price is different wherever you ship to. Just popping in some shadows. Yeah. Paper is very, very, very absorbent. So I've got a bit of bleeding already. <laughs> Hi, Kiki. Welcome. <laughs> so what do you guys do when you're feeling down what gets you out of it usually I've gone through my steps here that I've just said today and um, I'm usually pretty good I can get back on track but there's those times when that you just don't get back on track what are some things that might help or that help you that might help others There's one other tip too. Um, I know some people get down when people can be mean. Um, but don't let other people get you down either. Just ignore them. Eating. <laughs> Hi Christy. Eating's um, good, I guess, except when it starts to uh, make you fluffy like me. <laughs> fluffy girls. Hi, Selena. Fluffy girls, I need something underneath here. Yeah. <laughs> That's better. Poppy cuddles help awesomely. Have to agree with that one. Kitty cuddles help too. Birdies also make me happy. I like birds.
lines and messy. Yeah, that's good. Lots of scribbles. I like acrylic paint too. That's fun. I think we need a little bit darker. Just kind of fading out into her skin a little bit. <laughs> she kind of looks funny now. Yeah. I like to sit outside too, Loretta. And uh, if it's cold, I like to sit in the sun inside my window, like just absorbing some nice warm rays. <laughs> the cat usually likes to join me there. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. I realize I'm so far away. She looks funny at the moment. Look at her strange dark lines. Don't worry, we'll make her look pretty. Pretty, pretty. She's already starting to cheer up a bit, isn't she? She does look awfully sad. She has got very long hair. <laughs> very, very long hair, this one. Not quite Rapunzel, but good. That's right, Deb. <laughs> Maya. <laughs> I've got Shadow's Instagram account I don't know who's following that there's not many she wasn't feeling well on Monday actually I was kind of a little bit stressed about her she um she's hardly ever sick and uh, she was sick it was kind of strange Actually, I don't think I've ever been and seen her like that before. She's alright again now, so that's good. Good news. Indeed. I like to scribble when I'm feeling a bit yuck too. Scribbling's good. Like you said, uh, Becky, just scribbling. Especially with markers. They make such pretty pictures. Just blending it all out now. Mm -hmm. 
I brought some Crayola pencils, uh, 120 pack, to give them a try. Um, I hope they don't come in an envelope like my last lot. <laughs> they ended up everywhere. They did, they did. I think she should have blue eyes. Sorry, it's a bit blurry. I don't know why it's blurry. Blurry. Is that just me? Am I just blurry? Oh, look. There we go. It wasn't me. It was the page. It was blurry. <laughs> Uh, we need to add a little bit of darker blue. Bye, Heather. Ah, oh, thanks, Charlotte. May always makes me laugh. She's so silly. I love it. <laughs> whether it be whether it be on her stream or just chatting with her, she's got a bit of I like her sense of humor. Oh no, I just realized something. I have to set a challenge for uh, um May, me and Sammy for Tuesday and I completely forgot about it. Boo bum. <laughs> I might have to just do a video and post it up on Patreon. But uh, we're going to do a challenge on Tuesday night, another one. And uh, we have, I'm going to do some little random winner spin things to pick out colors for us and the following week we've got uh, Christine Eldridge who is is here did I say hello Christine I did see you there I get so carried away Carried away when I'm talking and coloring. So, another thing that I do is play video games. That's another thing, but I don't think it helps me to get out of my rut. Sometimes I think it puts me in it more, <laughs> it makes me stay there. these little fine tip markers that uh, Kenny gave me actually I'm going to use one of those because they're tiny little tiny tiny little I'm going to use that for the lips because it's a small space I need a little bit lighter pink for this book is that what you're talking about I can send that yeah it's only 11 o'clock here let me see if I can find a lighter red is that lighter it might be darker it's hard because there's no colors on there
slightly lighter. <laughs> She's got these weird looking lips now. Let's give her some what colour hair? I'm gonna go with What? What's happening? Abby, what are you doing? <laughs> what did you do, Kenny? Oh, Kenny, you got your Copix. Yay! No, I... <laughs> here you go. It's upside down. Oh, hang on. Here you go. Here's my Copix. Really hard to show you there. They're in this box. I have them sorted out into just color groups. The top, I'm holding marker in my mouth. The top left left one is for all my uh, skin colors, and then the rest are all sorted out into their colors. And that's it. That's all I do. Oh, I had that open for a little bit. I might just close that. I actually found those boxes uh, in Office Works in Dandenong, actually, if anyone is in Australia. So they must have them on in office works. I was gonna buy a whole heap of really small flat ones and put all my pencils in them, but uh, hubby said no, no, no. I'll, I'll buy a router and I'll make you a a thing, but I still haven't seen that. So. <laughs> Granted, it's winter now, so maybe he'll have time. I hope he doesn't have time, really. I want him to be busy so we can have some money. This paper doesn't really like markers, so if you're going to use marker, just be careful. It's really bleeding out. It's not enjoying it at all. I might have to go to pencils. So tappy. Sounds like a postie coming around. So we didn't get a lot of um, ideas, did we? Did I miss some? No, I. you can keep them... Yeah, Kenny, you can keep them flat or horizontally or you can keep them standing up. It doesn't matter um, how... I can actually turn my box and have it sitting flat as well. I've got a lid for it too, so I can tr take them. You know, if there's a fire, that's what I'll grab. <laughs> my markers. Hard drive markers. <laughs> Photos are on a hard drive.
Uh, they'd be covered under insurance anyway, but... What did I do? There goes the pasty. Yeah, no, that's right, Sandy Olnock. I've actually done a video of her. Um, I did a review of the hex chart, and also there's a class, hex art class as well. Which is kind of cool. Actually, it's Sandy who started me on Nina. She uses Nina. Sandy does uh, some awesome Bible journaling things, which I like to watch. Very crafty. This is going to take me a while. Maybe I should just cut some of it out so we can see how it's going to go together. I like to colour Jasmine Beckett when I'm feeling a bit down too. <laughs> She's one of my faves. So hard now. I've, I've got um, quite a few faves coming in now. Some pretty awesome artists out there. I always like to look out for new stuff because you can see what's out there. These eyebrows are looking like uh, squiggly little lines, but they'll do. <laughs> they'll do. Oh, Pat, did you go? <gasps> Hi, Kat. How are you? Hi, Jeremy. <laughs> no, I didn't do this. This is from a book. But it's a cut and colour book, so I'm making a shadow box from it. I won't be able to finish it today though um, because I don't have my little foam things that I wanted to use to put it together. Also, I wouldn't mind having a frame for it too. So I might have to do some shopping this afternoon. That always makes me feel better, shopping. <laughs> can get you into a bit of trouble though so just be careful <laughs> only do what you can afford I love how this is actually kind of grey too because I'm covering up a lot of the actual um, outline which is awesome because my markers are so awesome at doing stuff like that. Oh, 
No, they're not. It's me. <laughs> totally loving myself at the moment, you know. That helps me feel better. Uh, you know, I ordered some books from Seculum, Seculums, and um, they haven't even been posted yet. I'm so sad. I've been waiting patiently. <laughs> so patiently. Yeah, shopping's good. I like shopping. I've been drawing too. Um, I don't draw, but um. I did a couple of images up just a sketch and I actually because I don't really know how to draw properly I just sort of sketch down or even trace the outline of the image and then go in and do it all in pencil which I can seem to do which is kind of weird you'd think that I could draw but I don't know <laughs> anyone else have that um so I kind of sketched out an eye and uh, and then went, grabbed my pencils and off I went. It came up absolutely amazing and I loved doing it. It was so much fun. And I've just sketched up an owl and I've started an owl too because I brought myself a art journal and I wanted to try some different things in it. So I've been doing that and it's so much fun. I am using E17. It's kind of a really rich red. So my hubby brought me this. It's only A5 size, so it's tiny. And um, playing around with some my first page. Ugh, that's a cover. It's kind of cool. There's my first page. I drew an eye. It was so much fun. Bye, Selena, sweetie. Thanks for dropping in. Ah, <laughs> cat. I've done a couple with Copix and they've come out all right. That's my pencil one. It's kind of pretty. And um, I'm drawing an owl at the moment. I've done my outline and I've started colouring in the eye. Um, and... Um, May sent me a picture of one of the wolves that she has, so I want to do one of those too. But I find it easy to colour it in. <laughs> so draw, draw, draw an outline, like an outline, and I can colour it in like you would colour. But um, yeah, when it comes to actually physically drawing with a grey lead, it's almost impossible. <laughs> I just can't do it. <laughs> Oh, you have, Loretta? I wanted to try the Bristol paper, and I really like it. Um, I haven't tried any, any anything else on it yet, just pencil, but um, the Luminance pencils were awesome. That's what I used on the eye, and I'm using Polychromos at the moment for the owl because I don't have any colours in the Luminance yet. I've only got the skin colours, really. I love a full set of luminance, they're amazing. One day.
But yeah, there's not a lot of papers that I like to use the luminance on, apart from the Strathmore Tantone paper. Luminance are really thick and um, I find them hard to use on some papers. But on the Bristol, it was awesome. So easy to manipulate and layer. Gosh, this hair is taking forever. <laughs> I was watching um, Z Van Von Z actually um, on. She posted a video recently using polymer clay and some some resin, and it looked amazing. I'd love to give that a go too. I used to be good at pottery, so I'm sure polymer clay would be similar. Just a little bit of hair at the back here. So we had some great ideas from people with things to do. General consensus though is be with other people I think. It's really important to stay encouraged so Go hang out with your favourite person. That always helps me. <laughs> now this image, these books are little, so it's a little bit bigger than an A A5. Actually, by the time we cut it out, yeah, it's going to be about A5 size. So it's not a full page. I'm trying to find a full page. So this, ow, <laughs> this is A4, this is the Selvig Beauties book, so it's smaller, and I reckon by the time you cut out the outside, uh oh, I woke Shadow up, <laughs> we're in trouble, <laughs> we're gonna mess, it's all good, um, I'm going to use, I'm going to keep it brown, I think. I quite like it. Light brown, though. Maybe we'll go for some E15. Just a little bit. Browny red. Something impacting. This is E15 now too. I was kind of thinking of the colours in the background when I was picking a hair colour because there's a lot of green in it um, and I'll probably do some red and maybe pink roses. So this sort of red brown will look nice with green and let's go a little bit of e31 Be yellowy toned brown. What's it called? Brick beige. I know you think of brick, I think of red, but it's a pretty color.
Donna likes polymer clay. Yeah, well, Loretta, that's why you come out and hang with us. <laughs> that's why you, you watch silly challenges at all hours of the morning. <laughs> I completely forgot about our thing maze thing it's because i had that flip through for the renaissance book to do and uh it just sort of got away from me i was kind of eating my breakfast at the last second too so <laughs> anyway <laughs> oh there you go see i woke her up hello shadow what are you doing because I dropped stuff, isn't it? You can't put your bum there. Everyone's saying hello. Hi, Joey. What's going on? Did I miss something? <laughs> These tiny little scissors, they're really good for crafting, but they're not very good for uh, cutting big stuff. <laughs> It's a tow truck. Shadow's really freaking out. She, she's gone on puffy. <laughs> she gets like this really puffy tail when she gets freaked out or scared. It's so funny. It's like a huge toilet brush tail, we call her. She looks like a raccoon or something with huge, puffy, huge tail. <laughs> I don't know what colour to do our clothes yet. I just thought we'd start cutting a little bit and see how it's going to look. I might re-trim it again once I've coloured it to make sure I've cut off all I need to cut off. She disappeared. She's watching out the window now. <laughs> oh, Elaine. <laughs> Shadow's into everything. I have to keep an eye on her. She eats things. Well, she plays with things and they get eaten. You gotta be careful. She's like a baby. You know, you gotta watch them at every turn. Make sure all the doors are closed on the cupboards. Because <laughs> she's the one that will get in there and um, make a mess or eat something she shouldn't. We even have to make sure all our toilet seat lids are always down because she gets in the toilet and plays with the water. She loves water. 
We brought her this little fishy that you put in the water and it's activated once it hits the water. She loves it. Sits and plays with it for ages. The only problem is, is that when she catches it, she pulls it out and carries it away and sits on someone's bed with it. So everyone's beds get wet. So we have to be careful. <laughs> yeah, I think it will, um, Helen. I think it's going to come out pretty cool. That's why I wanted to have a play with it today. I thought that is something I can accomplish today. And that will make me feel good accomplishment also I'm gonna go for a walk and um, buy some foam tape and a frame for it too so that will help too so far that and there's like a no border around this one but anyway that and that and then these go next but I'm going to need to use my big cutter because you've got to cut out the frame. So this cool frame does this thing where you can lift it up and pull it across to where you need to cut from. Which is about there if I'm cutting straight. Lifting it up, and that should be enough for me to be able to go from. Oh, whoops, it went a little bit too far in, but that's all right, we'll just cut that inside one. <laughs> Neaten it up later. So these are to be cut and put behind here, like that. Once they're cut out, of course, and then this goes on the top, over the top of all of that, and then the frame will go around the outside. So just quickly go around these I'm going to need to color these on top of some sort of card mat because they're going right near the edges so I might just do it rough for a minute and then we'll go I don't need a later. But yeah, it's going to go together really well. Just 
I think it really matters which side, but. And then when you put the tape behind it, the foam tape sort of brings it forward a little bit like that, so that they kind of look more 3D. Can you see that happening? There's like a light behind it, that's why it's called a shadow box. <laughs> I actually stuffed up the border, but that's alright. It went a little bit too far in. So cut a cut a little bit further out than I thought it was going to. So it's my weekend here, it's Friday. I think I'm doing a little mentoring this weekend actually, getting someone started up in a Patreon business. And he's a friend, but um, I said to him I'll be charging consultancy fees. <laughs> So I accidentally cut into that border here, but I'm just cutting it out. It doesn't really matter. around and color this gold maybe the gold will go with them um, the colors that we've got gold goes with everything what am I talking about not great cutting skills I went into the border no that's all right <laughs> we always make do um actually when I was watching Zan von Zett last night uh, she's got a video on there where she does a little miniature thing from a Japanese one of those Japanese miniatures that you can make <laughs> and um all the writing was in Japanese Japanese and she's like can't read that throw it away <laughs> I'll just make do. I might need some little uh, um, more smaller bladed scissors to cut those little details out I think. Shadow, what are you doing? Playing shadow. Hmm? Do you guys have any crafts that you like to do other than coloring? once it's finished it's going to look pretty cool. K 
Can you imagine it? Imagine. <laughs> Bye, Helen, sweetie. Thanks for coming in today. <laughs> meow. Meow, meow. That shadow just speak. I know, have no idea what you're saying, but I'll talk to you anyway. I'm going to need some more scissors for those little areas. Indeed. I might even use a knife to get in there because there's so little those little spots. Cutting knife and a cutting mat. Yeah, I might. I just kind of wanted to show you what it looked like when it was sort of partly done, but I'm not having much luck with the whole partly done thing, am I? <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to take me so long to cut. So even though I did cut out that first line, it still looks fine. All right, I'll do the fancy little bits later. Just cut them off there for now. So that's kind of what we're going to have. With little spaces in between, we'll have a little bit of a shadow behind each section. It's going to look awesome. Oh, quilting. That's fun. Polymer clay. I'm going to have to try that, Donna. <laughs> that's right, Donna. Definitely. Ooh, fresh fruit's good. <laughs> Well, hopefully um, you all cheered me up enough. I'm very grateful for you all being here. And um, now I have this project to do. I've got to finish this cut box thing now. And I've got to finish this beautiful image from Nocturnes for us. For patrons. I have a new patron too. Welcome, new patron. I haven't gone in and had a look at who it is, but thank you. try and keep the top on each of the cutouts though so that I have somewhere for them to stick but uh, that's the it goes over her head a little bit but that's kind of what it's going to look like yeah but it'll have the little spacing in between everything so you'll see the shadows see the shadows it'll look more 3d of course Just zone out. As long as you don't stay there too long, that's my theory. You can zone out for a day or so, but um, don't stay there. Try and find something to pull you out. You need it you need to be pulled out <laughs> that's the danger when you go and zone out is that uh, down the rabbit hole that's the saying the further down you go the more lost you get
how I could be here for like another hour or two cutting and uh, I know that can be pretty boring so <laughs> I probably should head off and um, go finish this off cam and then I can post it up when I finished oh sure Kenny here you go It is going to look cool and it's just something different. As I said, I'm going to put it in a frame and I might give it to someone. Maybe my Nana. She likes roses and pretty things. I only have one left now. I should probably look after that one, I think. <laughs> I think if my other Nana was alive, I could have shared my YouTube channel with her because she was awesome. <laughs> She'd be very proud. Skinny, <laughs> just sit and watch me cut. <laughs> I'm going to need smaller scissors. Quite possible I'm going to use a cutting knife, I think. I think that will be a little bit easier to get around these little details, especially when my hand's getting a little bit of a dint in it from the scissors. Is that baby scissors? <laughs> baby scissors! Okay, another creative memories product. <laughs> have this little <laughs> I have this little um, knife my husband gave it to me years and years ago he used to be a sign writer so I'm going to use that first to finish off the boundary here I used to sit with him for hours picking vinyl with him. Which is kind of what we're doing now, except it's pre cut. <laughs> it helps if the nice sharp too. I need to replace it. If I hadn't have cut out the extra line around it, I wouldn't have to do all this. 
well not as much of it anyway <laughs> hi Sahara where have you been Turn the blade over, I think. Uh, I have to get Hubby to do it for me later. I'm hoping he's got a spare blade for it. Now that it's winter, maybe I can get him to draw for us. <laughs> Sahara This one. Oh, that's the last one. Yay! That wasn't easy to cut out. Mind you, my knife is actually blunt, so um, I think it's alright considering that. <laughs> I'll get happy to change it and I'll neaten it up after I colour it, I think. If I had smaller scissors with me right now, I would have just done it with smaller scissors, but they're in my craft box at the other end of the house, and um, I seriously couldn't be bothered getting up and going to get them. So here we have it, using a knife instead. <laughs> it's 
so it wouldn't be as uh, fiddly but I would probably color the next one I do I'll probably color it first and then do all this little cutting part of it um, so I don't think it it would just be cutting it out that would take your time then but you could do that while watching telly you know that's what I do anyway done and painting and things like that I listen to the TV while I'm cutting or sticking or whatever I'm doing It's definitely going to look cool. So just with those cut out nice and smoothly this time. This goes down here somewhere. There's no line on this page. There's a there was a line on the bottom of each of these things in on the other page. Um, what do you say to go under it so you can see the shadow behind it? Ah, there we go. A bit of magic going there. He <laughs> doesn't want to stay. I think that's behind. Like that. Yeah, no, it's got to be down here. Maybe that is the bottom of the page. Because the brick wall is all the way, all the way up here. So, yeah, it must be there. This goes under there. And then this will go on top. And obviously there'll be a gap in between each one. And this will be on the top of that, actually, in there. I think it's going to look so cool. Yeah, there's actually, um, I've got some foam tape somewhere. Uh, it's actually double-sided, but with foam in the middle. And I have no idea where it is. Uh, so I'm going to go do some shopping and, and buy buy some. Um, but yeah, until then, I will finish this all off. And then I will put it together. So I'll show you guys finished. Um, I can even, if you would like, I can... Um, I can record it for patrons if patrons want me to record the rest of it I can do that just tell me now and I'll, I'll do that it'll be a raw video of course but if you want to see it'll come together see it'll come together Elaine says, yep, she'll watch it. I'll put it in fast forward even, so this bit, because you don't want to sit there watching me just cut. <laughs> I'll put the fast forward on and um, and then watch me put it together. That'll be fun. These bits are going to look really cool because they're going to overlap the brick so you'll be able to see the brick through the gaps in the leaves and things as well same with this you'll be able to see the the color behind it which is kind of cool it's going to look really cool all right guys i'm going to go and continue doing this and um i will see you on monday we hopefully will be starting a new color along next week but i still haven't had confirmation from the artist um about getting a discount for the event 
and uh, whether we have any giveaway prizes. Um, but yeah, pretty much June, June and October, the only two months that I don't have filled in with artists. So um, I still need to find an artist for October yet, <laughs> but I'm trying really hard for you. Oh yeah, you could definitely do that. Kenny, just, you could color it first. That's right. I did say that might be better to color it first, but cool my ghouls. Done. Big thank you to Pat for Super Chat today and big thank you to all of you for helping me have a little bit more of a smile on my face this morning and helping me get out of my little rut. I'm going to finish this too um, from Nocturnes. So far I've just used Neo Colors so, uh, and I used some of these Tombow markers which I didn't know you could actually do this kind of effect with them. Um, pretty cool for two calligraphy markers that I brought to do calligraphy with. <laughs> oh, no worries, Lily. But um, I will see you all Monday. Uh, Monday, yeah. Which I'll do. Um, maybe I'll do the draw for the. I'll set up some little wheels for Sammy and May's chat. Um for our big challenge on Tuesday. I can do that on Monday morning maybe. But I'll see you then. Bye guys, thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye Shadow. <laughs> oh, thanks so much Erin. I'll finish it off and we'll show but um, Erin's coming to visit my channel too in a couple of weeks, so um, we'll have a challenge with her as well. That'll be fun. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.